Republican Tennessee corruption made the national stage when they decided they were going to try to expel three Democrats for standing with their constituents. Well, what happened? A group of people came to the Capitol. They went through the metal detectors. They were led by the police and had a protest. Now, when they had the protest, the three Democrats joined them, and many Republicans decided to compare this to January 6th and call it an insurrection. Go watch some videos and compare what happened in Tennessee to January 6th. There's a clear difference. Now, they wanted to expel two black men and a white woman, and with this being Tennessee, I'm sure you're not shocked to find out they did not expel the white woman, but did expel the two black men. And I can already imagine some of you are going to the comments right now. You're just insinuating they're racist with no evidence. No, there's previous incidents where they also were trying to take action against black men because they wanted things like them not to wear clothing that the white people didn't like, even though there wasn't a dress code and the dress code that does exist didn't forbid them from wearing it. Things like that. But you might say, well, hey, Maybe they expel all the time for small things. Well, they didn't expel a lawmaker who admitted to touching children, and they didn't expel a lawmaker where there was a whole thing involving his cousin mistress and drugs. So, you know, not really the case here. But then we have an update. So they did expel the two black men, but Justin Jones here, as you see behind me, uh, he was just reinstated to his seat in the Tennessee House by a unanimous vote in the Nashville Metropolitan Council. Yes, he got his seat back. So Republicans just drew attention to things like the cousin mistress and the racism and had absolutely no win. And of course, if you haven't been paying attention to Tennessee politics, you might not have seen that these councils that can reinstate these people they have been threatened, actually, by some Republicans that funding will be taken from the state. That they simply won't give them funding for their city and the state won't be giving it to them if they reinstate these people. But here's the here's the real thing, right? If the, if the council didn't reinstate them and it went to an election, they're going to win re-election. Because what they did was for their constituents and arguably just supporting what their people want. Gun control. 